Hi guys, this is Carrie. Um, I just um, hope you're doing good today. I am just, I just have a few little things and I just wanted to share with you a few things that I got in. Um, I just had this other video from uh, Madam Glam, but I did order a few things on my own. So I wanted to share those with you. And I will, do a swatch these are my the, the ones that I purchased and I will do don't pay attention to my finger I cut here I sliced it on my hyaluronic acid bottle um, I uh, and I'm going to like do a swatch video on these oh look it leaked this one is leaked um, but that's okay. So these are just really quickly. I got um, a pretty basic. I got a three set with the base coat, the no wipe top coat, and a velvet matte top coat. And this is the gel polish remover. And I've never w used anything like this before. And the base and the top coat and this gel polish remover came in a trio set, so I decided to get that together. And I got the the mat because I've heard such great things about it. Um, so I tried to get that mat. And then I got this um, uh, rubber base coat in Malaysia. And I just want you to see this. If you haven't seen it in my last video, I, I actually used it in my design. Oh, look at how dry my hands are from the acetone from that video. Okay, and then it's really nice. It's just thicker than a regular base coat. And it's a pretty, pretty color. And then, even though this is, I'm gonna have to clean this, but. I have a thing for blues, look at that. It's really pretty. So, yeah, that's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clean that up. And the one thing that I was really curious about, because I do have the Madame Glam white gel polish, just their, their perfect white. Their perfect white is so perfect that you can really do lines on it. I did all these lines on my nails right here. I drew those lines with this polish. Um, it's so opaque, you can do the lines. But I decided to pick up the white gel paint. So as soon as I open this up, I will do a comparison. I have a couple of other ones, so I wanted to do a comparison video with the other ones I have. I have a Young Nails, and I have a, I think a Feng Sheng Mei one. Um, uh, I have an eye gel beauty one. So I have about four different uh, gel paints, gel liners. Um, so I just wanted to do a little bit of a comparison. So as soon as I open this up, I will share this one and see its performance. So I just wanted to share this with you. I love, um, so far, I haven't used these colors yet, but um, so far I love Madame Glam's formula. Um, they are all, even though there's no actual colors in this in this particular order, they're su super opaque. They are 21 free, HEMA free, um, cruelty free, vegan. I think I feel like they're the most hypoallergenic um, product out there, and um, I just I'm really happy about them. I'm just really really um, happy to you know have. Uh, Madam Glam in my collection. I do have a discount code for 30% off at Madam Glam. I'll leave it here and in the description box. But they always have that VIP membership for 50% off um, with free shipping and for no minimum purchase. I think that's a that's a great deal. So oh, you can always check that out as well. So that's the first thing that I got. Second, 
is if there's a few things that I picked up from AliExpress. Um, one thing, let's see here. Okay, are these bits. Now, I know I've spoken before about how much I love, how much I love this Panna. This is the Panna five-in-one ceramic coarse bit. So I thought, you know what? Let's give a try to these few that I saw on AliExpress. So just a quick comparison, really quickly. I can tell already, I don't know if you can tell. Looking really close to them, let me see my glasses. The teeth, I don't know if you can see that, but the teeth are a little bit bigger on the AliExpress one. Definitely the shank is longer, but they do look a little bit bigger. Um, and then this is the medium, and I never had a medium in um, the Panna, but let's just compare it to the course. And it's just a little finer than the course. So on my next set that I do, I will be using these, and I always say this, but I will update you. Um, because the Panna at $6.99 has been my favorite, favorite bit. These were uh, quite a bit cheaper. Oh, I'm saving this one. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to use them the next time I take down my nails and we will see how I like them. And I actually have, this is from one seller, and I actually have a few more of five-in-one ceramic bits coming from Beauty Stock 365. So those are on their way, and we will also compare it with those. So that's that. Next time, I got these. Now these are from Allie. They're from Wilson, and Wilson has always performed so well for me. I've never been disappointed with Wilson. But these are a little bit different. They are the uh, adjustable mandrel bit. Um, because, I don't know about you, but do you have any sounding bands that don't, that are, don't fit your your mandrel bit or that you just have the toughest time putting on getting on and off these ones in particular these are in my 240s and I cannot for the life of me get them on and off my ex like existing I have like five of them and they won't fit so these they fit perfectly and they come off easily they are kind of springy right here at the end and I love them. And look at, they actually have a little diamond up there. <laughs> so yeah. Because I wasn't really able to use any of these because they weren't fitting my macho pick. So I got two of them. Look at how cute this packaging. I love it. Okay, so those, that's that. Next, from Allie. And it's so funny when I cut this thing open, you can smell it. You can smell that plastic. I got these tips. And these are just, I my, coffin is like my favorite shape. Let's take a look at, okay, let's take a look at five. But so these are just some coffin tips, but I wanted some that had a little bit more oomph to them. A little bit. And they are not that much more firm, but a little bit more firm than what I have. So. Yeah, these are, these are nice, but let's bend it and see if it gets a white line. Oh, look at that. No white line. 
I don't know why I always am impressed by that, but yeah, I like that when there's no white line. Okay, so there's, I like that. Okay, I shouldn't have used a number five, right? Because number fives are one of the most commonly used numbers. Okay, so there are 500 in here and I got these for like 350. Yeah, that's a good deal. Okay, next I got this brush. Now I'm always on the hunt for a variety of brushes, always on the hunt for it. So I saw these and I've never, this Boquan or Quan, this is an oval six. And it's quite small for a six. Let's see, but But I don't mind it at all. It seems quite nice. I like it a lot. I just really like these brushes with lids. I can appreciate a brush with a lid. I love them. And for some reason, I don't care about these brushes. I use them for things I don't care about, like the brush itself. I don't really care for the brush bristles when they're yellow. Sometimes they, you have to really like get the yellow out of them. You have to rinse, it's almost like you have to rinse all the yellow out of them. It, you don't really seem to have to do that with these brushes. So yeah, I like this brush and I'm just gonna check it out for gel application. So yeah, this is the Oval 6. And I actually have some more um, liner ones coming in, but it, they're gonna be in dark navy blue. So yeah, I like that. This is cute. And do I have anything else from Allie? I'll show you at the very end. Okay, so now I have a couple of things from Shein. And the main reason why, this is really the reason why I bought from Shein. Um, I saw on Short Nail Life, she talked about these 24 section, um, like I guess they're for lipstick. Um, and I have my gel liners, which I'm still going to review. I, I wasn't going to um, because it had been so long, but I'm actually going to do it. Um, someone talked me into it and said it was okay that it was so late because people still want to hear about it. But there's 24. I have 24. Um, but it is quite thin, which I knew, but it's cracked. And I did get two of them, and they're both cracked. So I'm not sure. They are $250. Um, I got them because I thought they were a really good deal. But there's one on Amazon for like $550. And it looked a little bit um, sturdier. So I'm thinking about just getting the, those ones. Definitely returning these ones or reaching out to Shein for those. And that was like kind of like the whole reason I ordered. And the rest of this stuff was kind of like filler. So I've mentioned before, but I really do like these. Um, it's funny because doesn't it look like I'm missing a row of <laughs> buffers? Um, so I like these ones. Um, there's just, you just use one per person and I feel like I'm it, it's true it takes a little bit to get in there um, but I feel like I'm being uh, less wasteful with these small little ones so I got some of those and then I you know what I actually gave away I had some pearls and then I gave them away and then somebody asked me if I had any pearls and I was like, oh no, I gave them away. So I got some more. And these are nice because they have all different sizes here. Even the really little ones, these are really little. So yeah, so I just replaced them because I gave mine away. So there's that. And this, now this, I have no idea why I bought this, but You know how things say where like they have two left or one left and then it just, it makes me feel like nervous and then I have to buy it. 
Um, these are tiny little, probably really plastic quality rhinestones, but they're really teeny and they have like bars, rectangles, diamonds, hearts. I can't even twist it. Um, stars, they're very little, squares, bows. Um, I gotta put my glasses on. Butterflies, teardrops, flowers. They're just very, very little, cute little ones, I thought. Those are really cute, so I don't know. Um, I'll find, I, I don't know why. I, I knew that they were gonna look like this. Um, but I didn't know they were gonna be this small, but that's okay. I will make use of these, definitely. So there's that. Um, okay, what is this? Not quite sure. We got this wheel. So this is, looks like silver. I can't believe I cut myself there. It actually hurts. Um, so these are really cute little studs. They have balls and arrows, shells, stars, um, more like arrows, bigger balls, smaller caviar beads. These are like caviar beads and these are cute little squares, Some small, even smaller squares. Yeah, I like these, these are very cute. So I got a few of those. And anything else? Oh, yeah, I've seen this. I don't know what my thing is with flakes, but I had a thing for flakes. So I saw these. You know, it's gonna go flying everywhere, but I have to see it. Ooh, there we go. These are pretty. I just flew on it and it went everywhere. But I like it. They're blue, they're yellow, purple. Those are really pretty, I like them. You know what, you get a decent amount. Yeah. Okay, so I like that. I think those are a dollar. And next, I got this. And to be honest, I don't remember buying this. So it looks like a liner brush. Probably not the thinnest in the world, but it will close. I like these things that close like this small. I think I do, I like the idea of it, but then when you put it, when I put it in my brush cup holder thing, you can't reach for it. So even though I like the idea to save room, it's it's not practical. But yeah, I don't I don't remember buying this. I'll have to look. And that's and then I have one more thing that's not meal but related. And I show, I've shown this before, but I just wanted to show you guys again. Um It's this quick charge 3.0 I and mean, it's got the four USB ports in there and I just plug it into the kitchen and everybody can plug in. I, we have multiple charging cables for phones so everybody in the household can be charging their phone, we can be charging our iPads 
and not worry about it, not be fighting over the single charger that's down there. It's so handy. So I got another one um, to put in my bedroom. I love it, it's great. So I got another one of these. They're, they're really not expensive at all. So there's that. And um, the last thing is, I think that's all except for, there is one more thing from Allie. And it's this Mona Lisa um, mud gel. It's number V74, and I just thought it looked interesting. A lot of people have been um, sharing their mud gels, um, the Holes collections, but for some reason this one caught my eye. So... So there it is. And since I don't care about this brush, let's just take a look. So it's kind of like, I got it because I thought it was so interesting. It's like, I don't know, granite almost. It looks kind of gold and black and um, pearly colors in it. I'm not even sure, so let's give it a swatch. Looks like something you might have to swatch over a color. I'm not sure. We will try. I can't read it. Um. What does that even look like? It looks very bumpy, a bunch of stuff, white, black, gold. I don't know, we'll give it a cure and we'll try one more coat and see what happens. Okay, so while that's curing, um, I just wanted to talk really quickly um, that about a giveaway. I have been talking about a giveaway. I've been saving stuff um, for a giveaway, and then I've been waiting for things to come AliExpress because I was gonna give away like these things, these items that I wanted. But you know what? I've decided that, because things have not still not come, um, so I've decided that instead of doing a giveaway um, with these things that, that I've been waiting for, I'm going to do a giveaway just to celebrate, and it's been long past now, like my 100 subscribers, and I'm so thankful, and it's been too long, way past. So I wanted to, let's see, um, this is my, this is my giveaway. So, I don't know if you've ever been to, um, um, Lene's channel, but she has a channel, uh, Lene's by Lene. She's on YouTube, and she also has this, um, she is selling her mystery bags, glitter bags, um, on Etsy. She has a little store here, and I thought, you know what? This would be a perfect opportunity to support her store and also, um, do my giveaway, because my giveaway would be never, it would never even come close to being as beautiful and cutely packaged as hers. So this is what I would like to do. This would be my giveaway. So um, please enter in the giveaway and whoever wins the giveaway will get um, the nail mystery, um, the nail art mystery bag and the glitter bag. Um, and the, we'll do, We'll do this one, and then we'll do this one. And just send me, and I just, that would be great. And I will just have it sent directly to you. And then we can also, um, I've heard so many great things about um, her mystery bags. So 
This would be the nail art one, and this is the nail glitter one. So anyone who wants to join, that would be great. I'm not sure how, um, how to enter. If you, in the comments, um, I, if I welcome anyone to enter. Just say, um, I guess in the, in the comments say, enter me, um, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Um, uh, you can check me out on um, Instagram if you want. You can do all that stuff if you want, but you can subscribe if you'd like, and you can um, like the video if you'd like, but really, all you have to do is say entered in the comments and I will figure it out um, based on comments to do the uh, random selection. So there's the second coat of that. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. So anyway, there you have it. Okay. All right. So anyway, that's it. I'm Thanks everyone for watching and pushing through with me. Um, please, I, I, everyone, um, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative I, of reaching 100. I never thought, I really never thought I would. Um, and just, I just want everyone to, um, like, I just want everybody, you know what, actually though, I have to say, I have to limit it, I'm so sorry, to the US. Um, because I don't know if she if she sends them to the um, to the UK. I don't know if she sends uh, anything. I should have I should have asked her, but yeah. So I'm just gonna limit this to um, US entries, and I deeply apologize for that. So, um, all right. Well, it it this was been this has been great. This has been fun. I will. I um, uh, hope you have a wonderful day. It was great seeing you and I will catch you in the next one. All right. Hi guys. So I just remembered I need to um, set the limit on the giveaway. So I'm going to post it up tonight, which is February 27th. So I will keep it up for a week and we will end on um, March 8th. So yeah, we'll end on March 8th and I will announce a winner um when will i announce a winner i'm not i don't know how this thing works um, i will try to announce a winner um that week the following week the week of march 8th i will announce a winner in another video i will um say but i will try to do it like on the the ninth so we'll yeah that'll be it Try to um, end it on the 8th and, and ninth, announce on the 9th. So thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.